Hello and welcome to the graphic settings guide for day C as on request from a viewer of mine on my Twitch channel. Uh, this is actually gonna be a pretty short guide on whatever I'm using, not what everything does uh, or anything like that. It's just gonna be what I use to get what FPS I get. So, I'm on a random server now, just spawned in. I've never played on this server before, it's an overpock server, so it should be exactly the same um, if you play on any overpock server. Uh, so, my settings right now in video option is visibility 1600, brightness and gamma at standard, doesn't really matter. Uh, interface resolution, I'm playing in windowed mode because I'm streaming and I need to scroll out of the game a lot when I'm looking at links, sending links and doing other stuff uh, so the best resolution for me is 1520 by 804, 80% of the screen cause if I run at 100% uh, I wouldn't be able to see my windows start bar at the bottom alright let's go to advanced my texture details is at normal video memory high I heard some people say you should leave it at default but I don't know I tried very high normal low it doesn't really matter it doesn't affect my FPS which you can see at the upper left corner uh, which is right now around 70 and I know I'm not in a city because uh, I just spawned here and I'm trying to get as much textures on the screen that I can get now. And I don't want to get killed while doing this. Um, so, well, some people say you should keep it at uh, default because it do doesn't really matter. Well, I just keep it at high just because. It doesn't matter. Antistrophic filtering, normal. I tried a lot of stuff there as well. Uh, if I disable it, it looks like crap. If I put on very high, I'm gonna lose a lot of FPS. Uh, so I keep it at normal. Anti-aliasing, normal, same there. Looks like shit if you disable it. And takes a lot of FP FPS away, a lot of frames away. If you pick high. ATOC, I just have it disabled. Cause I don't like the looks of it. I don't think it's actually matters what you pick there. I don't think it like takes your FPS down. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like to view it so I'm having it at disabled. Terrain detail, low. Uh, this is two reasons actually. If you look at the pine trees to, to the right, right over here, uh, if you have the texture details at very high, I think I have zombie behind me, um, you won't be able to see if there's a sniper underneath the tree. Um, you might see it as a glitch or even a hack. I don't know. I don't because most of the people are using low because of just that reason. Uh, going on, object details, low. I don't need to see a shiny bright weapon on the ground or like the grass close to the railway, like wave in the wind. I don't, I don't like it. Shadows. Uh, this is really up to you. Uh, I I usually don't play with shadows at all in any game, but I found it out in day C that it looks a little bit better. So I keep it at normal just for the sake of it. I wouldn't put it on high or very high because it's gonna affect your FPS out small tiny bit. I think. I'm not too sure. But it works for me, so I'm sticking with normal. HDR quality. I actually don't have any clue what this does. Let's try to put it at very high. From 70 up to... Well, nothing really happened there. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it at normal. Uh, PPAA. I have it at FXAA, sharp filter, normal. Because I think that makes the game look the best. Uh, it 
I don't really know what it stands for or anything. I think it's something to do with the anti-aliasing. I'm not too sure. But FXAA sharp filtering normal is my setting. Post process effect disabled. I think it has something to do with the water. I'm not sure. I'm never in the water in DayZ. And uh, if you're actually in the water in DayZ, well, go play a swimming game or something. Because <laughs> it's just tedious to be in the water here. Interface size small. Because we don't want this bar to be all over the screen. That's ridiculous. So even a normal one, look at this. You can't even see your debug monitor. So small is the way for me. Aspect ratio depends on your screen. And I'm using 16 by 10 because that's what my screen is basically. V-Sync disabled because I want to have more than 60 FPS and uh, that's basically it. Um, that's all I gotta say about it. And if you look at my FPS now, oops, up in the left corner, it goes up a little bit because I'm not having that uh, setup menu here. And up in the air, we got 125 and 123 something. Oh, there it dropped. 66. Well, ar around 60 is playable, even a little less. Uh, and this is of course when I'm not streaming. When I'm streaming I lose about 20 to 30 FPS, depending on the server as well. Um, so I'm just running around now, as you can see the actual FPS uh, switching. So I am outside of El Cherno, I think. I'm not too sure, I'm just gonna check it really quickly. No, I'm not. I'm out in Kamenko or something. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my settings, and uh, if you have any questions, just type them underneath. And if you want to see me do other tutorials for other games I play, uh, just type it underneath. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys!